The 1992 Constitution of Ghana has remained the country's most enduring constitutional document since independence. It has served as a basis for smooth transfer of power as well as contributed to the country's reputation as a beacon of democracy. Delivering the keynote address on behalf of President Akufuado at the 2023 edition of the Gimpa Law Conference on the theme, the 1992 Constitution of Ghana at 30, taking stock, assessing progress and reflecting on the future, Deputy Attorney General Alfred Tuayabua praised the judiciary for sustaining the democracy of the country while citing the 2013 and 2021 presidential petitions brought before it for peaceful resolution. He said the country must therefore work hard to consolidate its democratic gains. Let us remember that our democracy is so young and in its incipient stages compared to other advanced democracies. Our success as a nation is therefore not guaranteed. This means that we must continue to work hard to consolidate our democratic gains and ensure that our institutions remain strong and independent. Addressing calls for constitutional reforms, the president through the deputy attorney general rejected a wholesale amendment despite growing calls for it 30 years on. Our constitution is indeed a living organism which is capable of growth and grow its must. In the, pre in the recent past, there have been several calls for the wholesale amendment of our 1992 constitution from different quarters. It is on record that um, I am in principle against such wholesale, wholesale amendments of our constitution. But that is not in any way a suggestion that our constitution is perfect. It is perfectly imperfect. And it is through conferences like this that legal and political scholars and other academic, academics and professionals can deliberate on the future of our constitution and come out with practical proposals. Chairperson of the National Commission on Civic Education, Kathleen Adi, also speaking at the event, said constitutional amendments should be done to cure the ills of society. She, however, indicated that the country risks being disappointed if it banks its hopes on constitutional amendments to solve challenges confronting it. Well, what sort of constitutional reforms beyond the plethora of existing laws will make us more law-abiding citizens? Which constitutional reforms will ensure that people who are already paid to deliver government services do not extort arbitrary fees before providing those services to citizens? Which constitutional reforms will fill our hearts with true humility and make us cherish fearless honesty as prescribed in our national anthem? Truth is, we could set ourselves up for great disappointment if we proceed as if the constitutional reforms will resolve all the pertinent challenges we face as a people. Meanwhile, former Member of Parliament for Tamale Central, Inusa Fuseni, during an interview with City News on the sidelines of the program called for a bipartisan approach in dealing with the clamor for constitutional amendments. All the amendment under, under the CRC failed because there was no bipartisan consensus. The amendment proposed by His Excellency Nana Adedonko Akofado failed because there was no bipartisan consensus. Okay, and so I think that going forward, we need to build a bipartisan consensus.